Hi, I'm Danny Nightmare. I'm Gory B. Movie. And today we're going to go see Bad Samaritan. This is a movie starring David Tennant, you know, from Doctor Who and Jessica Jones. And there is a kid who is a valet and he encounters David Tennant, who's apparently a total douche in this movie. So he decides to get him back by robbing his place. But wouldn't you know, he has a girl tied up in his house. You're getting a very don't breathe vibe from this. Exactly. One of those movies where it's a home invasion, but it kind of turns on the invaders. So uh, let's check it out. So far, it looks pretty good from the trailers and stuff. So I'm excited to see it. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I've enjoyed what I saw in the trailer. My only reservation is like last year I saw a good trailer for the snowman and then I got burned. So let's hope that it doesn't go that route. Let's hope. <laughs> see you soon. Well... It wasn't bad. Pretty long though. And Corey was like, wrap it up. I need chicken. <laughs> yeah, I was really, really <laughs> hungry. So uh, let's give you the good, the bad, and the gory. The good, I would say the acting was phenomenal. Oh yeah, the performances are great. I can't remember the name of the actor that plays the lead in this, the, the young guy, but he was really, really good. David Tennant is always fantastic. I love seeing him as a villain. I especially loved him in Jessica Jones. He is so great at that. He's always engaging no matter what part he's playing. Very despicable in this movie. Very. Thankfully, it didn't go the route of the snowman. It actually is a complete movie that makes sense. And the first act in this is killer. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just nonstop beat after beat after beat, and you are engaged, and you want to know what's going to happen next. So it really starts off with a bang. Now for the bad. Okay, this movie is incredibly long, and the pacing is very slow. After that killer first act, it drags a lot, and it goes into some very strange places. Yeah, I felt like... It, it did drag. It wasn't horrible. I wasn't completely bored, but it dragged. It was noticeable. The only other thing that kind of really took me out of the film was the weird score and soundtrack. There are places where it's, it's your pretty standard thriller score, but there are other places where it is distracting and it just doesn't really fit with the movie. It kind of gets that after school happy vibe sometimes. And then there's that ending, which you were like made the comment of it being Titanic. Like, <laughs> Yeah, the last song in it sounded like something that belonged in the movie Titanic. The other thing I think was a very strange choice is David Tennant plays an American in this. And his American accent kind of comes and it goes. It's not very strong. I don't know why they didn't just let him be Scottish. He is Scottish. He also does a great English accent. The only thing I can think is the lead character is Irish and maybe they want him to stand out a bit more. I don't know, but I think it was a bad decision. The characters, with the exception of the lead character, are not really developed, particularly the villain. And I love David Tennant. I think he did the best he could with what he was given, but he wasn't given a great part to work with in this film. As for like development of his character, the first five seconds is a scene which I didn't care for that has him as a young child, and they're gonna play that throughout the movie. And that's the only part that I have a problem with the cinematography. It just looks really weird and doesn't go with the rest of the movie. Now the gory. This is a thriller, so you know what that means. It's basically a horror movie without any of the good stuff. There are a few fight scenes that are pretty graphic, pretty intense, moments where you're gonna look at that and go, okay, that hurt. But I can't really say that there's anything in here that is going to satisfy you gore hounds. There is a little bit of torture, but most of it is implied. You don't get to see like too much of it. So don't think this is going to be a soft film by any means. And yeah, like you said, some of those violent fights and some gunshots, but that's about all you get. It being a thriller though, I think what's most important to look at is the suspense. Does the suspense work? And for the most part, this is a by the numbers thriller. This is a movie you've seen a dozen times before. It plays it entirely entirely too safe. So should you see it? Well, it doesn't seem like, at least in our theater, that it's going to be there very long. It's been there for like a week and they're already starting to pull it out. So you might not even have a chance <laughs> to see it. said pull out. <laughs> it's kind of bad timing for its release, sadly for it, but I don't know. I don't think you're missing too much. I do say I recommend you see it, but wait till it's on video or Netflix. I have to say I was very kind of in the middle here. There are a lot of great things about this movie, but overall, I was pretty bored. So I'm on the fence. I'm going to say skip it. I would recommend checking out Don't Breathe or even The Good Neighbor instead of this film. So we're split right down the middle with this one. Danny says see it. I say skip it. But neither of us are feeling too strongly either way. So 
check it out for yourself or don't. This isn't going to be your favorite movie, but it's not going to be a movie you hate either. And if you've already seen it, let us know what you thought about it down in the comments. And of course, if you guys want to see more of these Let's See Movie Review vlogs and there's a movie coming out of the theater that you would like to see us review, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Cut! Yeah. <laughs>